kids, get ready for another story time with Teacher SP. Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. But before we begin, please remember this. One, sit properly and listen attentively. Two, don't forget to remember the characters in the story. Three, remember the important events as well. Are you ready? Let's begin! Have you ever wondered how rain is formed? Today I'm going to tell you a story entitled Little Raindrop Story by Gloria Villaraza Guzman Illustrations by Fedelito Manto One day, Mother Cloud hovered over a mountain. Mother, may I go down here? Ask Little Raindrop. May we go down as well? Ask Little Raindrop's siblings. Yes, my children, answered Mother Cloud. Go down and help people, animals, and plants. Little Raindrop landed on a leaf. His siblings also landed on the leaf. The leaf became heavy, and the little water droplets fell on the ground. Little Raindrop held on to the leaf. He watched as his other siblings went their own way. Some went underneath the ground, some seeped into tree roots. When Little Raindrop became tired of sitting on the leaf, he let himself slide over the edge and hid underneath the leaf and slept. After a few days, he was awakened by one of his siblings. Come, little one, she said. Let's help the rivers. Little Raindrop and his siblings went underneath the ground. Despite the darkness, Little Raindrop and his siblings sang happily. They were singing as they flowed down the mountain into a stream. Little Raindrop and his siblings flowed into a river, and then they flowed into a lake. They played with a fish. Little Raindrop even rode one. The fish brought them to the middle of the ocean. There, Little Raindrop and his siblings saw their mother cloud hovering over the ocean. They waved at Mother Cloud. We want to go home, Mother Cloud. Little Raindrop and his siblings called out. The wind carried Little Raindrop and his siblings into the arms of Mother Cloud. Mother Cloud held her children tightly. They had so many stories to tell Mother Cloud. Soon, Mother Cloud found herself floating over a dam. Again, Little Raindrop thought of heading down into the reservoir. His siblings soon followed him. The waves brought Little Raindrop and his siblings to the tower near the dam. They entered the tower and fell into the tunnel beneath it. They traveled through the tunnel at the bottom of the dam. Little Raindrop and his siblings made the powerhouse turbines turn. The powerhouse was important in creating electricity. Little Raindrop and his siblings left the river through the back of the powerhouse. Little Raindrop and his siblings reached a diversion dam. They traveled along the edges of the passageways and arrived at a small canal. They came to a rice field. They held on to the roots of the rice plants. They gathered nutrients from the mud and helped these nutrients enter the roots of the rice plants. Little Raindrop and his siblings carried the nutrients up the rice plants and helped them enter the leaves. They helped Sunbeam produce plant food. 
When little raindrop became tired, he sat on top of a leaf. He saw Mother Cloud up in the sky. Please bring me to Mother Cloud. Little raindrop asked of sunbeam and wind. Together with his other siblings, he went home to Mother Cloud. Mother Cloud was filled with pride for her children helped people, animals, and plants. Did you like the story? I bet you do. This is Teacher Espy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!